The Zodiac Killer murders remain one of the most perplexing and haunting mysteries in American criminal history. During the late 1960s and early 1970s, a serial killer operating in the San Francisco Bay Area took the lives of at least five known victims while taunting law enforcement and the public with cryptic letters and ciphers. To this day, the true identity of the Zodiac Killer remains unknown, leaving investigators and amateur sleuths alike captivated by the case. The first confirmed Zodiac murder occurred on December 20th, 1968, when high school students Betty Lou Jensen and David Faraday were shot to death while parked in a secluded area. The Zodiac's signature symbol, a crosshair, was later discovered at the crime scene, hinting at the killer's twisted motivations. This seemingly random act of violence marked the beginning of a reign of terror that would grip the Bay Area for years to come. In the following months, the Zodiac struck again, claiming his next victims on July 4th, 1969. Darlene Farron and Michael Magot were shot while parked in a car at a popular lover's lane spot. Magot survived the attack, providing crucial eyewitness testimony, but the killer's identity remained concealed behind a hooded costume. It was during this time that the Zodiac began his disturbing correspondence with newspapers, adopting the famous pseudonym that would forever label him in infamy. The Zodiac's cryptic letters to the media soon followed, each filled with complex ciphers and chilling messages. One such letter sent in August 1969 included the infamous phrase, this is the Zodiac speaking, instilling a sense of dread within the public and fueling the media obsession with the case. The killer boasts of his ability to evade capture and mocks the police for their lack of progress. Despite numerous efforts by codebreakers and experts, many of the Zodiac's encrypted messages remain unsolved to this day. As the body count rose, so did the frustration of law enforcement officials. The Zodiac Killer appeared to relish in his notoriety, sending letters taunting the police with detailed descriptions of his future murders and threats to schoolchildren. Fear consumed the community leading to a wave of paranoia and an unprecedented amount of tips flooding into the police department. The Zodiac continued to elude capture, his identity hidden behind a meticulously crafted facade. One of the most chilling crimes attributed to the Zodiac was the killing of taxi driver Paul Stein on October 11, 1969. This brazen act took place in the heart of San Francisco, with witnesses catching glimpses of the Zodiac as he fled the scene. The killer's eerie resemblance to the composite sketches perplexed investigators and added to the enigmatic nature of the case. Despite the increased police presence and massive manhunt that ensued, the Zodiac managed to evade capture once again. The Zodiac's reign of terror eventually faded, leaving a trail of unsolved murders and unanswered questions. Over the years, countless theories have emerged, attempting to unmask the identity of the enigmatic killer. Suspects were scrutinized, but no definitive evidence could tie any individual to the crimes. While the case still captivates the public's imagination, the Zodiac Killer remains an elusive figure, his true identity seemingly destined to remain hidden among the shadows of history.